In today's video, I will be showing you how to add tabs to the File Explorer in Windows 10. This means your File Explorer will be very similar to a web browser. You will have tabs along the top. If I just open up a folder now, as you can see there's no tabs. But along the top here, you will have different folders and be able to switch between them. I must admit this is very cool. We do need to download a program to be able to do this. So to start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on this link here that says QT tab bar and then go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to open the .zip folder and you now need to drag the file to your desktop. We now need to run the setup file and as you can see Windows Defender doesn't actually recognize this setup so as always when installed in a third party program I do recommend you create a system restore point and installing this program is at your own risk as stated by Windows and also myself but this program has been around for a long time and trusted by many. I'm now going to go ahead and go more info and you then need to go on to run anyway. You will now have a window that looks like this. We now need to go ahead and press next and you then need to press next again and it will begin to install Qt tab bar. Once the program has finished installing, we now need to press close and you now need to go yes. You will now notice on your taskbar you have two black lines. If you drag the one on the right hand side across you can then right click on it and you have a few different options. I'm now going to go ahead and open up my example folder which is the CS1 on my desktop and as you can see it's currently not showing anything but if you go across to view and then click on options you can select all sorts of different options for QT tab bar. The two options you want to select are QT command bar and then we want to also select QT tab bar. And as you can see, I now have a tab. And if I open up a new tab by clicking on the plus, you can then choose which folder you would like to open in the new tab. I can expand my CS folder and then select computersluggish.com and press OK. And there we go. As you can see, I now have two tabs open, which is pretty cool. If I go back to the CS folder and middle click on the computer sluggish folder, it will then open that up into a new tab as well. So that is how easy it is to add tabs to File Explorer. If you right click on the QT tab bar and then go to QT tab bar options, you have lots of different options. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.